Hi my loves and welcome back to my channel and to my go-to makeup look tutorial. Due to my mic still acting up, my intro and some other parts didn't really make it in today's video. So you will now be getting voice over me until non-voice over me takes over. So I'm just explaining here that I've done my eyebrows prior to this video. And I also primed my face prior to this video with the NYX Honeydew Primer. And that is also my new favorite primer. Now I'm putting on some Carmex on my lips. And now I'm putting on some of the new Huda Beauty Nymph Body Bronzer in the shade Aphrodite. So now over to the non-voiceover version of me. Oh my god, this is so cute! So then I am just going to go in with the lighter shade that I showed you guys and put that on the like high points of my body, if you will. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag it down my arms and ugh, I'm gonna wear a sweatshirt later anyways. I don't really feel like it needs that much time to dry either. It just dries down really, really quickly, so... That is also a huge plus. Okay, so luckily you guys can see my boobs right now, but they're out. <laughs> okay, so now I am just going to take the other one, which is called Luna, and I am going to put some of this on this brush. And this brush I actually got from Iconic London. They were kind enough to send me a bunch of these brushes actually they look like this it's they're so fancy i can't even okay so i'm just going to quickly go over my collarbones with this and this is the uh lightest shade that she has and this is the um what is it called did i even say what it was called i don't think so god why was this so hard to blend out probably because i'm like sweating and everything is just turning into this like sweaty mess <laughs> look at that shoulder guys and then also put some highlighter on it and it will be i've definitely been using these ones ever since i got them because once i swatched them and realized how shimmery they are and that they don't actually transfer onto clothes I was just shocked. Uh, I'm not really sure what... Oh, Nymph Body Highlighter. So you can just buy them off of Sephora or on her website. Okay, so now I am going in with my favorite foundation. And I've been using this foundation since I don't know when. Um, I feel like ever since I discovered this, I think it was Jeffree Star? Jeff yeah, I think it was. Uh, the Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani. I love this to death. So I basically just put a couple of pumps on my hand and then I go in with a couple of drops of the Iconic London Illuminator. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. And I'm just gonna spray my sponge. This is actually from Linda Hallberg. Not even kidding when I'm saying this. This is the best sponge out of all the sponges like Real Techniques, Beauty Blender, all of them that I've ever tried. And this is by the way a do-it-yourself setting spray. I will link that video down below because I've done two of those now. And this is with a little bit of shimmer and I actually made one DUI of how to make this on my channel last year I think. And I love this sponge just because it has this like tip right here so that you actually can get in where other sponges can't. So I'm just gonna mix this a little bit on my hand, like so, and then just put it on my sponge and just go in. One thing that I've learned from um, Kylie Jenner's makeup artist is that um, he basically don't apply foundation to her forehead. He just use the rest of the foundation that he has in the sponge and go in like that instead because um, the forehead is one of the places on the face that you can see very very clearly that you're wearing um, makeup. I think people already know that I'm wearing makeup but you know. I've actually tried that out like for a long time now and it actually looks a lot nicer so um, when you go in with powder and stuff like that later on it won't look that cakey so yeah I've been doing that a lot 
now. Oh my god, look at my hand. It's so pale. So now we need some concealer and some contour. So I have actually been using two concealers from Huda Beauty. One of them, Cotton Candy, I use at like underneath my eyeballs and like where I want to highlight. And the other one, which I'm not really sure what it's called because like the name is actually scratched off. That is how much I'm using these guys. The other one I'm using to like cover up pimples and stuff. But these uh, concealers are so freaking pigmented and they literally cover everything. So I have given up on my Urban Decay Naked Skin because, I don't know, I feel like this is a little bit, a little bit better, to be honest. But I do kind of like to use a brush when I blend this out because um, it is a little bit like stubborn to blend out you really have to like work fast because it, it dries down pretty quickly so now i am going to contour my face and i actually got these in pr um last week yesterday i don't even know these are the tantor contour um, and bronzer creams from Huda Beauty. So I actually tried it out just like a day after I got it and it is so creamy. <laughs> it is so easy to blend and I just, I'm obsessed. But if you guys want to know what I used until I got these, I actually used the Hoola um, contour stick. So this is the one that I normally use. Um, however, it's it's like finished. I will probably like dig my nails in here and put it on a brush and put it on my face because I'm that cheap. <laughs> but um, yeah, this I really love this one. It just blends out like a dream and it's the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick from Benefit and it's so good. But like I said, today I am going to use the Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream and these dry down to powder. I usually set my face with powder anyways because my my skin gets pretty oily. We're just gonna take, I got this brush in PR as well. They get, came with these. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna use it. It has this like flat, dense little thing in one end and this bigger flat thing in the other. Oh my God, I'm such a good YouTuber. Okay, so we're just gonna put it on like these just go up and blend it into my sweat look at that guys like how easy was that I'm telling you i really don't know when she's launching them but um i'll let you guys know down in my info box usually um creators and influencers they get pr before the launch so that we essentially can hype up the product before it launches so um if, if you don't know why why it's not out yet. I'm also using this brush to contour my nose. So I'm going back to the Iconic London Illuminator and I'm just putting a little bit on my hand right here. Just like three drops or something. This is highly, highly pigmented. It's like liquid pigment. I really love the effect of this because it just looks like your glow is wet in a way. Dab it on with my beauty blender. When I am done with this, I am going, I just put it like basically everywhere because I like my face to be a little bit shiny. <laughs> I don't mind that actually because I've seen a lot of people put powder or like to set their face on their entire face even on the cheekbones which I don't really understand because well essentially you will put highlighter on top of it and I feel like if I put powder on top of my cheekbones and then put on highlighter it just looks cakey so what I do is that I put this on my cheekbones like this and then my friends were going in with the highlighter and that is only to make the highlighter look a lot more dewy and a lot less cakey so that is just something that i've noticed myself and i ever since i noticed that i've never ever put any type of setting powder on top of 
my cheekbones, so... And for the highlighter, I am actually using two different highlighters. I got this palette in PR three weeks ago, I think. And it is the cheerleader... No, it's the Cheek Leader Bronze Squad. And it has this shade right here called Cookie. And it is actually a exclusive highlighter for this palette only. I really hope the benefit comes out with this as a just a separate highlighter because it is really really nice. And on top of that highlighter, I am going to put this shade right here from Linda Hallberg Cosmetics and you guys will see why because it is blinding. It is like one of the most insane highlighters I've ever tried in my life and I've tried a lot, trust me. I usually go for my Ofra. Um, I have this like three type of pan um, thingy from Ofra with Hold on, I can show it. This is the one that I mean, and it looks so, so used. It's literally, I don't know how long I've had this, but it is the Nikki Tutorial collection, I think, with these ones right here, and I use these two. Um, just, it's so easy to just take with you when you're going somewhere, because it just has all of these three shades, and that one is beautiful to use as a lid shade. Okay, I'm rambling too much again. Okay, so now I'm going to take Cookie. Like, look at that. It's it's a lot. It is a lot, but I love it. And it, it really doesn't look, it's just perfect. It's not glittery. It's not too light for me either. It's just perfect. So I'm putting a little bit on my nose as well. Okay, so now we are going to use the one that I talked about uh, earlier. Now this is glittery. It's very, um, it's not very glittery, but this will kind of like move around on your face if you don't set your face with Urban Decay setting spray, the all nighter one, but I always do that. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of setting spray on this brush. And then I'm just going to go in to the shade right here. And this is called Collision. And then like as if Cookie from Benefit, the Benefit palette wasn't enough. This way of doing highlighter, I think will solve a lot of people's problem with the like cakiness of highlighter because I actually had that problem too where I just didn't understand why my highlighter was looking so cakey. It just looked like, I mean, obviously it was blinding and all, but it, you could definitely tell that there was powder there. So yeah, now when we have done that, I am going in with some bronzer. I'm actually setting my under eyes the last thing I do uh, because I I don't really know what's going on with my skin right now but it's actually a little bit drier than it usually is so my skin kind of screams out of pain when I set um, my under eyes with a lot of powder and let it bake for a long amount of time. Usually I just put it on and wipe it off after three minutes or something. I'm going to go in with a bronzer that I showed you guys just a week ago and it is this really really sad, <laughs> very sad and broken buxom bronzer in the shade Tahiti. It's been used a lot, um, but I feel like it's kind of proof that I use this a lot so that you guys don't feel tricked. So this will give a perfect type of like sheen to um, your skin so that it will, it also smells so good, like really, really good. You can almost say that I'm using this to contour my face, but I will actually go in slightly with a little bit of Hoola bronzer as well. And that is actually one of the better things with this palette. It actually comes with Gold Rush, 
um, the highlighter that I was talking about, Coralista Hula and Hula Caramel, which is a very, very nice um, contour shade for deeper skin tones. A little bit of Hula on here. So obviously it's been a while now since I applied my concealer. So I will once again go in with my sponge and just tap, tap, tap a little bit here. Go around my smile lines, go over everything a little bit so that we don't have any anything setting into lines. I know that there is a lot Lot of uh, Huda Beauty products in this video. I promise you guys, I'm not paid to use these products. I just love them so much. Um, and this is the um, baking powder in banana bread. I really love this because it won't dry out my eyes like crazy like I talked about. What I'm now going to do is that I will only bake underneath my eyes here and up here on my nose so that we get a really good nose contouring going on and i will not drag the powder out here because why would i my highlighter is there i'm also going to set like around here my nose oh my god this powder smells so good so also my chin and then i'm just going to set like or like bake here so that our contour will look sharp and then my forehead because i usually get super oily the most important thing here is to uh, remove the under eye bakage towards your nose so try not to get it up in your highlighter. I'm just gonna try to actually roll it so that it actually kind of flings onto my sponge here. I'm doing the same thing on the other side. So while I'm waiting for this to bake some more, I'm just gonna go into Hoola once again and try to contour my nose a little bit more. I don't know what's going on today, guys. I feel like my my nose actually looks very, very small. What is going on? Am I actually good at this now? Damn! What a small nose. We are just going to set my face with some setting spray before I, or before I start with the eye makeup. So where's my setting spray? I also need, oh my God, you guys haven't seen this before. So whenever I do my makeup off cam, I've never done this in my videos. I don't think, have I? I'm not sure. Anyways, I have this like bandana type of thing or like head band that I just wrap around <laughs> my face. You guys are actually going to witness this today. Um, hold on. This is, this is him. Um, it's basically, I cut a t-shirt and made it to like a cropped t-shirt and this is the leftover. Usually when I dose myself in setting spray, I get a lot of it in my hair. And if I've done my hair, it kind of just kills the waves or it makes my hair frizzy or whatever. And there will also always kind of be glycerin in setting spray, which is nourishing for the skin and it's really good but the the hair will get oily very very fast so um <laughs> i just put this on my head like so <laughs> and just do this so that uh, i won't get any setting spray in my um, hairline because my hair will go greasy very fast if i put a lot of setting spray in my hairline so then i take the uh, setting spray and i just bathe in it <laughs> Okay, so now to the thing that a lot of you want to know about and it's my freckles. And I have been talking about this before, I think, but I actually use a concealer to fill in my freckles. Now, I do have freckles, guys. <laughs> They're just very, very... Um, not so visible right now at the moment, but uh, I can definitely see them myself and like when I don't have makeup on. So I basically fill them in and I also add some <laughs> just because I like the look and I feel like more people should embrace the fact that they have freckles. And if you are like me, um, a person that actually has some freckles but also enjoys wearing 
um, full coverage foundation. Um, you can also fill in your freckles um, or just if you want freckles and you know want to paint it, whatever. What I want to say is that I am using a concealer from Huda Beauty. <laughs> I cannot believe that I'm actually using that many Huda Beauty products. I've never actually been like reflecting over how many products uh, I use from Huda Beauty, but this is a concealer in the shade Hazelnut and this is all I use. So I actually store it in this little dip brow jar from Anastasia Beverly Hills. There's obviously not dip brow pomade in this. I've just filled this up with that concealer and that is only so that I can um, kind of put on um, a little bit in the lid and just just so that I don't get too much on my face. I can always like put down a little bit in the lid and you know just put it on. I'm just gonna zoom you guys in so that you guys can see what's going on here. So that is a lot better. This is kind of an important thing also that I have to mention, this brush. And this is a kind of a tapered eyeliner brush from Sigma, the E5 eyeliner brush, that is what it's called. And I like the way it is tapered because it just gives you those perfect little dots. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my brush right there. Usually I get the right amount, but if I don't get the right amount, I just put it in the lid here and I just swirl it around like so. And then I just basically, oh my God, I'm shaking so much. Too much coffee, guys. Don't do it. Okay, so... I just go in like that, really, really gently to start with. And then I go in with my finger real quick to just spread them out or make them less visible, so to speak, because freckles, um, the first thing that you need to know about freckles is that they are not perfectly shaped dots. That is one thing. And the second thing is that some freckles are less visible and some freckles are more visible. Um, so that is why I go in with my finger to make some of them a little less visible so that you actually have like shadows almost. And um, also one thing that is kind of important, freckles are never cool toned, I would say, or I've never seen freckles on a person that is cool toned. Um, so that is why I'm using a very orangey toned concealer because I want that uh, orangey peachy type of uh, shade to work with. Um, and it just suits my skin tone the best. Obviously it varies from skin tone to skin tone. Can you guys tell that it's like a little bit you got some variation here got some really like perfect little dots and then you got some that isn't so perfect so I usually just go all around because I have freckles in my entire face normally so we have one stronger one there and then we can place one in there oh god that was a big one that's what she said so, and also, like, if you feel like you've gone in with too much, you can always go in with your beauty blender and just dab around a little and it will totally make sense. But I feel like I'm really happy with this. I love them so much. <laughs> we are going in with my go-to eye makeup and that is just basically warm tones. <laughs> I always go for uh, warm tones that complement my hair color. So more towards the red, like the cold, colder reds ish. <laughs> I will use the Huda Beauty nude palette. I know. Maybe I should use another palette. Feels like I'm only... Okay, I'm gonna use the uh, Modern Renaissance palette instead. An oldie but a goodie. This is what my palette looks like. It is so nasty and dirty, guys. I feel like I want to get a new one, but at the same time, I've only hit pan on that one, that one, and that one, so I think I need to use use this one first before I buy a new one. But anyways, first thing we're gonna do is uh, apply a little bit of primer 
and I am still loving this one so much. This is the original eyeshadow primer potion from Urban Decay. So now I'm just gonna apply a little bit. Just blending this out with a little brush here. So now I am just going into tempera or tempera, I'm not sure. And I'm gonna put it on a pretty big brush um, because I'm just gonna cover the entire lid with this. So now I am going to use Burnt Orange right here. As you guys can tell, I've been using that a lot, but I like that one as a transition shade in a way. And because it is so warm, like warm toned, it actually looks beautiful on its own, um, like towards my hair color, I mean. Um, so just like put on some eyeliner, some mascara, and you're good to go. It looks like you've been working on your eyeshadow for decades. Now I'm going into, oh my god, why am I holding it so weirdly? Realgar? Real, Realgar? I'm not sure. Put a little bit on the brush and boom. It's just so easy. <laughs> I, um, and I would definitely say that this palette is something that if I don't have a lot of time, um, like I told you guys, it's very, very, very quick to work with. You know that it will blend out beautifully. You don't have to sit and blend your eye makeup for hours and hours and hours, which I, like, which I really appreciate. So I'm really, really happy with this. So now I'm actually going to do something that I told you guys that you can do with a highlighter that I talked about earlier before, the Ofra one. So this one right here with the three shades here, I'm going to use this one over my entire lid. And then I'm gonna use this one in the corner of my eyes. It is just so beautiful, it's not too much. Boom, really quick, really nice. And that is usually all I do. You can also put a little bit of that champagne shade like in the middle of your eyeball. And now I am just going to apply some eyeliner and this is just <laughs> really dirty. It's a lot of eyelash glue on this one, I think. This is the Roller Liner Eyeliner from Benefit Cosmetics and this is my go-to eyeliner. I have basically thrown out all of my other eyeliners because this is hands down the best eyeliner I've ever tried. Like this. And then of course, drag it out to create a wing. So now I am going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to, yeah, maybe I should do just one step at a time. <laughs> I had some technical difficulties with my camera battery, so I had to sit and wait for one of them to charge. And that took an hour. It usually takes me around one hour and 20 minutes to do my makeup. I feel like for me, doing my makeup, it is something very calming and therapeutic, and I don't like to be rushed into doing my makeup um so i usually take my time and it can definitely take me up to two hours if i'm you know dancing around in my in my little space here and take selfies and talk to my boyfriend and basically doing everything but my makeup <laughs> Um, but i feel like that is just part of the process and that is why i love it you know it feels like you're doing something for yourself and the end result is you feeling so damn good about yourself and that you by yourself made something that you're happy about. Okay, so now for the lashes, I basically only use one pair of lashes <laughs> at all times and it is the iconic lashes from House of Lashes. And, and usually when I'm not storing my lashes in my hula bronzer, uh, I store it actually in the box that they came in. Um, and I just love these lashes so, so much because it just gives me that cat eye effect. And for someone who has like very round eyes, my eyes are not very, you know, big, I feel like either. Um, these just makes them look so good and I feel like these like these lashes will look good on 
anybody literally anybody so um i i don't know how much money i've spent on iconics and then also i bend them upwards always until i know that they will stay that way so the goal is to let them dry like that okay so now when our eyes are completely done very very happy with them they look exactly like I want them to. So I am now going to do my lips and I will use, <laughs> it's so tiny, <laughs> I need to buy a new one. This is MAC Oak Lip Liner. <gasps> no, I broke the tip. Okay, so just because I broke the tip on uh, Oak, I'm just gonna use Whirl instead because that is also a color that I very normally use like that. So now I'm going in with one of my go-to lipsticks from NYX. This is the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade Free Spirit. Okay, so now we are just going to finish all this off with the all-nighter setting spray from Urban Decay and then we're done. So that was it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I had so much fun today, per usual, and I just really, really want to say real quick, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everybody who has been watching my vlogs. I've been putting down so much work an effort to make these vlogs so good for you guys. I basically vlogged the entire trip and there was not one moment where I didn't think about vlogging. Um, so <laughs> yeah, I just really want to say thank you for all the love and support on the vlogs and also thank you guys for watching this video. But if you guys have any sort of like questions on anything that I've done today or anything that I've used today just leave them down below and yeah if you like this video then please give this video a thumbs up it would really help me don't forget to turn on your post notifications if you are in fact subscribed to my channel and if you're not please subscribe <laughs> and until we see each other again I hope you guys take care Mwah. love you bye I'm on the outside